like to call this meeting of the Joint Review Board for the City of Franklin, Oak Creek Franklin School District to order. And uh, we've already done the Pledge of Allegiance once, so we will start with the, uh, the roll call. Director Smits? Here. Uh, Dr. Torres? Here. Majora? I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, Director Paul? Here. Director Benton? Here. And Director Regitz is also present. So uh, all members are present. And our first order of business is approval of minutes uh, for the September 28, 2022 annual meeting. Entertain a motion to approve. I move to approve the minutes of the September 28th meeting. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And uh, let the record show that's uh, Directors uh, Smits and Paul. Um, I believe Dr. Torres Najara was not present. Right. As was as, as, uh, Director Benton was not present. Uh, so they have to abstain, and so I will vote to approve, and uh, the minutes are approved. Uh, so that takes us to uh, the annual uh, review part of our meeting for the review of the annual reports for our TIB districts 4 and 8, located in the Oak Creek Franklin School District. And uh, I'll touch base on some of the activities uh, in those districts, uh, and then... Uh, our Director of Finance. Uh, Ms. Brown can uh, go over some of the uh, financial information. And so for TID number four, uh, which is uh, basically the, the TID that uh, covers uh, Ascension Hospital and some other properties, uh, has been successful and was actually closed this past year. And so uh, that's been successful and uh, some of the property in it has continued on with TID eight. But with that, we'll turn it over to Ms. Brown. Yeah, so TID 8 is an overlay of TID 4. Um, as John stated, TID 4 closed in the beginning of 2023. Um, we have 12 months to complete our TID closure audit, so we will be working on that. Um, and then after the audit is performed, any excess funds will be distributed to the overlaying taxi taxing districts. Very good. Any questions on, on TID number 4? Again, we'll uh, review both of these and then vote on them together, unless uh, the directors or the, the review board thinks differently. Okay, for TID number eight, um, has been uh, active, and uh, we've uh, had uh, the, uh, the biggest project going on in TID eight uh, under construction this year with the Saputo cheese plant, and that should be. Uh, approaching completion uh, soon after the beginning of the year. And uh, I know that they are actually hiring now. And so um, HSA is uh, almost completed with their building, their spec building, uh, which is on Oakwood Road as well. And the Wangard facility is completed and has been uh, marketing and has uh, prospects in tow. And so with that, I'll turn it back over to Ms. Brown. Sure. Um, so TID 3, or I'm sorry, TID 8 started off with a healthy fund balance. Um, as stated, there's a lot of ongoing projects, which will then entail a lot, you know, borrowings and um, funds to be used. Um, this TID is a 20-year TID with a mandatory closure date of 2041, um, but overall future development within the TID is what will drive the tax increment going forward. Okay. So any questions on TID 8? So with that, uh, we can obtain uh, a motion to approve uh, the annual reports for TIDs uh, 4 and 8. I move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Concludes our business items for the meeting. Uh, would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'll second. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 
And the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.